getting your first big opportunity and coming through like right this? Um, you know, just well prepared all week. Practice, you know, emotionally, physically, you know, I was prepared, you know. Haven't had too many opportunities, but, you know, as soon I knew as soon as I got my chance, you know, I was just going to try to make the most of it to contribute to the team. You know, I, that's what I did today. I tried my best, and, you know, we came out with the win, so. Aaron, realistically or honestly, what was before the game, did you have an idea of your what your use would be like today? Did you get a feel beforehand? Uh, nah, not necessarily. Um, I thought it was going to be, you know, a little bit like the Tennessee Chattanooga game, but, you know, you always, you always have to be ready, you know. I didn't really expect to play that much, but, you know, whenever my number is called, I'm going to give it my all. So, you know, I just tried to get in there and contribute to the team. How fulfilling was it uh, for you after last week not really being able to, to perform, to come in today and perform like you did? Uh, it was it was really fulfilling. Uh, you know, last week last week was pretty hard. You know, coming from high school, you used to play a lot. And, you know, I didn't I didn't play at all last week. And you know, I just had to keep my head up. You know, just keep praying. You know, stay focused and stay positive. You know, I give God all the glory for today. Um, you know, so you know, I just had my opportunity today. You know, today my number was called, and I had to step up. You know, play play for myself. You know, play for my team. Play for God. You know, that's what I did. You had to sit through an official review to figure out if you had scored that first touchdown. Uh, I guess what was that weight like for you? Were you pretty sure you got in? Uh, actually, I wasn't, to be honest. I thought I had stepped out. Um, but, you know, I, my eyes was glued on the jumbo trying, you know, I was trying to see if I scored or not. But, you know, if I didn't score, it would have been all right because I knew we would have got closer to the end zone and we probably would have scored the next play. And what did uh, Coach Beck tell you and Braylon after last week for you guys didn't get in the field? Uh -huh. Uh, it wasn't so much Coach Beck, you know, Coach Brown uh, talked to us, you know, it was just about the situation, you know, it was a close game, you know, he, you know, he trusts Rex over us, you know, I'm pretty sure everybody in this state would, you know, I would, I trust Rex over me, so, you know, it was a close game and, you know, Rex needed to be in, so, you know, we just have to understand that, you know, it was best for the team and we came out with the win. What did you think of the rushing performance overall as a team for that? I thought it was pretty well, especially at the end. Rex put us on his back. Um, had some amazing runs. I could have sworn one of those runs. He broke like 10 tackles over on the right side. We kept calling the same play. And they couldn't stop it. So, you know, it says a lot about our offensive line, a lot of credit to them, and our running backs. You know, we they provide the hose, and all we really have to do is just run through them. Aaron, you got that, that drive, you got five carries on board. Did you kind of feel as you're getting three and four and five that you kind of found a rhythm and you kind of found a way of something? Yeah, most definitely. I found a rhythm. Uh, you know, I'm pretty sure every running back does once they you know, they're in five plays. And, you know, I was just trying to do my best out there. You know, whatever the play was called, whether I was running, blocking, pass blocking, you know, I was just going to try to do my best. But I definitely had a rhythm and built up my confidence. And, you know, I was just ready to play from there. Really good. Uh, offensive line got it rolling. You know they they did a tremendous job all night. Uh, them and entirely gave the receivers out wide um, all night. They just came off the ball. They had a great week of practice, and all the credit goes to them. You guys had a rhythm and a consistency today on offense. And just what do you attribute that to? How, how were you guys able to kind of have this consistent all around performance today? Yeah, it, I mean it started in practice this week. Uh, we had you know great practices this week um, up front. And uh, you know, just locking on to assignments and um, all around, every guy on the offense line, you know, they were just doing it consistently tonight, and uh, you know, that was what allowed us to have you know numerous rounds back to back. Rex at halftime, it's a tight game. You know, you get that field goal for a half, and then you, you score, and then you follow the score. What, what was the difference in the first half? Second half was something said, or what did you guys did you have a meeting, or what was said? Um, I mean, we made a few changes, but, uh, you know, I still thought we had a pretty good first half. You know, we just really got to go in the second half. Um, you know, Coach Beck was, you know, very confident in what we had going. And, you know, Taylor really took control of the offense and made audibles when he needed to. And, um, you know, we made some adjustments, but, uh, you know, it really just came down to execution. There in the third quarter, you score that one-yard touchdown play in the very next play on the one-yard again. What, uh, what was that like? I mean, it's uh, it's a present in your hands, uh, pretty much. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a great, you know, great feeling. Um, you know, you just score a touchdown, and you just realize you got another opportunity right there. Um, you know, it was a great play made by the kickoff team to get on that ball. 
And uh, like I said, the offensive line did a tremendous job. Just opened up another hole to get in. Rex, what's been the difference with the offensive line and, you know, after two games? Why the day? What did they do differently? I mean, they've done a great job all year. Um, but like I said, um, you know, this week in practice, they really got it in their mind that they were going to execute. Um, you know, they were, I mean, motivated, you know, and uh, interject throughout the week. Um, you know, you could just tell their focus. I mean, Caputo, he really had those guys going in practice, and uh, you could just tell the focus was there. Was it because of the holiday bowl they were so motivated? What was it? Uh, I guess a little mixture, um, you know. Um, yeah, that kind of puts a bad taste in your mouth. But at the same time, uh, you know, I think we were learning from mistakes from the last game, and they're really looking to execute this week. Why was it different this week, do you think? I think we just came out ready to play. I think uh, all around as an offensive unit, as an offensive line, we came out with something to prove. I mean, these guys took it to us in last December, and I think we want to come out and prove ourselves that we're better than what we put on film last December. You were, you were doing this a lot in practice this week, right? And the focus was really to The focus, I think we had one of our best weeks of practice this week. Uh, I mean, that's something that now that we've done it, it's something that's expected. It's something that we're always going to have to do because now that we're doing it, I don't think anyone can stop us. Let's go back up, let's do it again. March right back down, score, waste some time, score. I mean, I think we just, I think that's some um, part of our leadership was stepping up and going, hey, we're all right. Like, don't don't flip on the panic button. Like, we'll be okay. And uh, I think that showed a lot of maturity for our team. What did Barney say to you after the game when he finally He was proud of us. No, I mean, uh, you can tell he goes crazy up in the box, but uh, he was definitely proud of us. He was really proud of the way we came to play, and he said it's all because of the way we prepared during the week. And I agree with him. I think we prepared well during the week, and that just carried over to the game. How big a step forward did you say that you guys made from last week to this week? I think we made a big step, a big improvement, but that just means we've got to keep improving because we're nowhere near where we want to be or need to be. So we're just going to keep improving. I think we made a pretty big step. Are you healthy? I mean, are you guys healthy enough as a unit now to, to maybe expect this every week? I, mean, I, know I think we are. I think we're finally getting everyone back. Finally, I think we finally do have everyone back. And uh, like I said, that platooning guys is going to be huge. I mean, that's what they did back in here when they won their national championship day is just keep wearing out the defense, wearing out the defense. And I think it showed that by the end of the game, we were just coming off the ball still fresh because I mean, a lot of us have been able to rest legs, stay down, and then come in with fresh legs, and that just kept uh, pounding away. At us. Nebraska, so you know about what it, what it means to be a fullback at yeah. Nebraska. That fullback thing kind of went away for a while. Now it's back. I mean, how does it feel to kind of bring that bring that mentality of that tough, rough and tumble fullback back to the frame? I'm trying to be rough and tough, but I know <laughs> it's, uh, it's really big shoes to fill. It seems like. Everybody in Nebraska is always cheering for the fullback. Yeah. You know? No, it's cool. Um, something I've always dreamed of. And, uh, it's been fun. Did you know that was the first play of the game? Taylor told me right before we went out. He told us exactly what the play was. He said, get open on the throw it. Felt so good. I mean, but who gets tackled at the one yard line two weeks in a row? That's unacceptable. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, I think we're taking steps week by week, just as every other team in the nation is. Um, but it's great to see, it's great to see us come out and perform and put up 51 points. You know, we, we're averaging, I don't know, right in the mid 40s of points now, um, and it's nothing unexpected. We got, we got guys everywhere that can make plays. So we did tonight or today, and uh, we're gonna make an even bigger step next week. Enjoy watching that O line get after it today. I enjoy everything about my football team or our football team. It's it's an amazing team to be a part of, and I'm I'm blessed. Uh, I'll just say that. How do you feel with Taylor developing as a pass game with new offense? I think he's developing great. Um, he, he's doing well. He's the ball's a tight spiral. He's going through his progression his reads. Um, he's delivering the ball great. He's making good decisions, so he's doing a good job. Great job. That's a big thing, but uh, moving the change is just important, and with a guy like Rex Burkhead, I mean, moving the change isn't going to be too much of a problem, I don't think. Do you, you feel like on offense you guys did enough today to kind of, I mean, the last, first two weeks you've had all eight and nine guys in the box. I mean, did you see Washington kind of sit back on those first few big plays? Um, you know what, Washington had, didn't do what most teams did, uh, was press us. Um, they let our receivers run off the ball. So, yeah, I think they might be starting to respect uh, the pass game a little bit more. And like I said last week, if they don't want to respect the pass game, we're going to launch it. And that's yeah. what we just do it to a receiver. Because uh, we, with BK and those guys, I, I rely on them just as much as they rely on me. So whether you're a starter or you're a three, I mean, we rotate in there so much that the, the reps aren't too much different. So and, I, and everybody, every single one of those guys you say out there has earned that time and is more than capable in making play. We needed to finish the game. I mean, when they had 17, they should have had 17 in the rest of the game. There's just stuff that we, we messed up and I guess guys were caught off guard by a couple things, but um, 
to you. Yeah, I mean, that's, if that's the best answer I can give you. Yeah. Is it fixable? Is that, I mean, is the oh, yeah, yeah, everything's fixable. I mean, that's definitely fixable. It was just being aware and uh, knowing what they were going to try to do when they're, when they're down by that much. You got 29 points and 38 points. I mean, it's not really used to that round. I mean, it's football. They're going to score points, you know, but we're, we're going to go out and work this week and try to improve on that for next week.